by Justin Kilcullen from Troker here in Siem Reap in Cambodia, where we're part of the Global Open Forum on Civil Society, discussing the principles that we've agreed in Istanbul on aid effectiveness for CSOs and our framework document about how we're going to implement these. And I've been asked just to comment on the fact that I said at a meeting yesterday, I find these documents subversive. Subversive of what? Subversive of the status quo in so many developing countries where we are all working, where we find that the small elites own all the land, have access to all of the resources, the mining companies, those companies that extract the timber from the forests and so on, and their political masters with whom they are hand in glove, leaving the vast majority of the population, tens of millions of people, with little interest in their own society, little involvement, no power. These principles aim to turn that model on its head. And they are very worthy, very uh, uh, idealistic, asking for people to be involved in their own development, and marginalised people brought into the centre, women, disabled people, ethnic minorities, that they will have a say in their development programmes, that they will know where the money is going, all of these things which make perfect sense in a perfect democracy. But to achieve that, in many countries, it will require a revolution. Maybe not armed revolution, but a deep social and political revolution. And that's going to be a long, hard struggle. But, as they say, every journey begins with a step. We've taken the first steps here by defining this as a charter for NGO work for the coming decade and longer. But it will be a long, hard journey as year after year we work to implement these principles and the framework that surrounds them in all of our work.